Hey guys, just cleaning up um, a bit of content and bits and bobs that we have from over the years. We found a little video that hasn't been in all our socials. The 630 Cron, the how to, taking off the head, putting it back on again. And uh, we just thought, you know what? Uh, we made it for the magazine. And uh, we're like, we might as well show this. So we are jumping back a couple of years, but we hope you enjoy. And it's just a bit of, a bit of crack whenever we were able to get up close and personal to each other, which we can't do anymore. So hope you enjoy. I suppose this is the less glamorous side to uh, running a, a harvester. Um, there is a maintenance needs done on a daily basis. Um, so what we did here was very simple. We just come in, we dropped off the head, you pull off the pipes, it's automatic lock, unlock from the cab, and uh, just drop down, reverse back out, and uh, that sets the head off, lets you assess the feed rollers, and bits and bobs that got there and let's just get a wee look in round everything. Um, we looked in round the reel, we did notice that the new chains needed a wee tighten. So we give the chains a bit of a tighten down here, in here on this side, and then we hitch the header back up, as I say, just straight in, left, unlock the pins, and then a few hydraulic pipes. 
um, gets the header back up. But we took it a wee stage further. We want it again because the, the drum would now at this stage done a little bit. So we wanted to just double check, torque, make sure that the, the bolts and the blades and all were torqued and everything was okay. So uh, two pins up on top there at the back of the feed rollers. Mm -hmm. Pull those pins out, take out another, is it four odd and one wire over there? Mm -hmm. We're dropping that down. We can V out veer out so we can look in from the top down if you had wanted to inspect the blades if you're out in the field and had a bit of an issue there's two stands located in the back of the, the harvester so we've lifted them in passed them in guy set the two stands on and he two shafts to pull off when he was in there and once that was done drop down reverse out and there we have the feed rollers sitting on top of the header and that's us in at the drum not a massive job getting in there and we just wanted to get in there let you see how easy it was to get in there and really what's involved with Crone and, and the way in which Crone do it. Um, how we go into service mode, do a lot of the operations out here and, you know, freeing up the drum for working and all this. So it's just, that's it. It's pretty much it in a nutshell for you. So, hey, that's that. And uh, that's us. We're going, so we're going to keep going now. We're just waiting to get back at it. So 